Hey, hey, happy 2024 to you guys. And today we are in the uh, Czechoslovakian uh, T TVP. I, I really didn't ever like this tank, um, but I got it as a gift. Um, I logged into my EU World of Tanks after getting back from my Christmas vacation. And uh, apparently someone managed to find my EU account and gift it to me. So... Fair enough. Merry Christmas. Thank you, whoever it was. Um, and they also gifted me like 2,000 gold. Again, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Uh, I took that gold and I bought some days of premium and I bought a few other things. Uh, so yeah, again, thank you. It means, it means a lot to me. Um, and so I figured I would take the tank out, stretch my hooves, as they say. And... Uh, Okay, so we've got quite a fair... Oh, ha, ha, ha. So this thing lacks gun depression. Yeah, it lacks no... It's got no gun depression. So working this ridge line is not going to work for me. Oh, good shot. Got him. I wasted valuable time on him. So, yeah, uh... This thing does not have any gun depression. So working the lines don't work. Um, I also got some um, books from uh, the gift boxes. I did buy, I think it was like 20 gift boxes or something. Is that like They were doing a, a, like a, I guess it's, it can't be a clearance sale because they're a, a digital item. They don't have anything in stock per se. But uh, I did uh, buy 20 boxes for my EU account, not my North American account. And, um, yeah, it, let's, so these houses can't be, yeah, they can't be knocked down, fair enough. Oh, that poor Emil. Come on, roll forward. Roll forward. Roll forward. No. Aww. Right, so we've knocked out one of their light tanks. This does not bode well. Got a Progetto on the hill up there. I'm going to back off a bit. Because I know the moment I shoot, I'm going to get lit. Uh, even though I've got some really good camo and some good equipment on this thing, I'd rather play it safe. And, uh, yeah, so that 50 TP is basically just dead, dead. How dead? He's dead. He's dead, Jim! He just doesn't realize it. Uh, Alright, so there's a Chinese 112. Come on. No. Okay, so our guys are being pushed down back. Too many of us out. Yeah, see, like I said, Borask has been waiting. Okay, okay. So he hasn't lit me, and I'm glad I didn't shoot. Unfortunately, means I'm gonna have to cut wide. Use the dip, get around him. Sorry about that, I forgot that my F5 key is bound to my record button. So I went to press F5 to hit affirmative and it stopped recording. <laughs> so it didn't miss much. Just me coming up and around. Yeah. Up and around, up and around. He's not going to show up. Right, so what I'm going to do is come around here. Use the cover. I've not been lit, so that's a good thing. I do have to know about, say one thing about this tank is it does have pretty good camo. Um, granted, my crew are, are up there in a skill. Even though this is like my first game. Mostly because, like I said, I used, it, I used a skill crew book to uh, get my crew past their first tier of skill, which is camo. All right, all right, so. All right, so let's come across. Hopefully, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. there he is. So he's in that little dip. I've got no shot on him. There's a house in the way. Nothing I can do, mate. 
Nothing I can do. I see him, but there's nothing I can do. Right, now the Prigetto. Oh, good, he's dead. Prigetto. Nope. Sw Swiffle. Ah, uh, whiffled that. Oh, bruv. Alright, so. He's, they can't come past me without me lighting them. But I can't go past them without them lighting me. So, we're at a catch-22 here. And that's fine. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, see, Prigetto's trying to light me. Oh! Oh, I did get that. Interesting. It must be the um, EBR. So the EBR's probably moved up to light me. I'm not going to crest that hill again. I'm not going to crack it. Come on. Yeah, fucking Prigetto, piece of shit. Fuck off, you Italian crap. Yeah. Tell me you're not you. Oh, premium rounds, huh? Firing off your, your cheesy little premium rounds. Come on. Brav. Thank you. What the fuck? I legit just saw my show. You and your fucking premium rounds, you dirty fucking... You know? Here. Fuck off. You annoying little shit. But you're sad fucking... Oh, I hate that crap. Oh, I got no skill. Just tap the two key. Fucking twat. Oh, I hate players that do that shit. Lowest form of fucking life in existence they are. Got no faith in their fucking tank, or their gun, or their skill, or anything. Just tap the two key. Thank you, Wargaming. I'm sorry, there's a reason why certain tanks didn't make it past certain points in their in their, their history or their production or anything like that. It's because they were just fucking shit. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. He's just going to eat it. He's got more than enough spotting range on me. Yeah. Told ya. And he's a fucking auto load of piece of shit too, so... Good. Fuck you. Get out of here, you putos. Piece of scum. Fucking hate players do that shite. There's one. Ooh, set him on fire. But another one is out. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, he's an auto loader. There's only so much he can do. Yeah, I get that. Trust me, I get that. I am. This is why we're playing defensive. Stay mad, comrade. Stay mad. I've got to, get, got to give the guy props. He did come and save me. So thank you for the save there, 56. And all our response said was, just ignore him. Oh, 30's there. Right, 30's there. So we know where the 30 is. Iron Arnie's moved back. All right, so they're playing defensive. 
super defensive. Ah, shit. Yeah, they're both, they're all back there. Charioteer as well. Now, if I... I'm going to tab the two key for this one. Got no gun depression. Got that one. He missed. Charioteer's going to try and come around. Let him, let him, let him. It'll cost him if he does. No, 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 see. That's fine. Ah, you got me. That was a good game. We tried. Nothing we could do. We tried. Some people. Anyway, uh, not bad for my very first game in the tank. Um, clearly, Matchmaker was like, we're going to give you a challenge. That's fine by me. Thank you, Matchmaker. Much love, much love. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what do I think of the tank? Um, I love blowing this thing up. I can see why it gets blown up a lot. The ammo rack is pretty weak um, in the tank. Uh, pretty, pretty weak uh, in the tank. Um and you know what? It, it it's fine. I mean, Iron Arnie. What do we do? We got his uh, engine from shooting his turret. And he, oh, from the site when he came on sideways. Nice. Uh, the Barras got his engine, his ammo rack, and his radio. That oh, that's right. We set him on fire, didn't we? Um. Yeah. See, so pyromaniac. There we go. Arsonist. Um. Yeah, we we're not too bad. Not too bad. We did bounce uh, two two. Shots from the EBR. I I hate those bloody tanks. I forgot to turn on crew acceleration. Oh well, it is what it is. And yeah, so like I said, that was my very first game. You can even take a look. See, I'll show it to you. Yeah, battles one. See, one battle. See, one battle. All I've had is one battle today, and that was it. You just saw it, guys. Um, taking this tank out for the very first time. You're thinking, well, how does he have t two sets of skills? Again, when I got, um, you also notice there's a, a lot of days of premium. Again, you got those, I got those from doing, you know, the events and various other things. I'm going to get a whole bunch of more rewards and stuff here. Thank you, Chaffee. I believe I've got Redshire Cat here as well. Yep, there he is. Meow, you too, buddy. And so... Yeah, what do I think of the tank? Um, again, it gets ammo racked pretty easy. So what I might do is swap out... Um, I might have to... F we'll work on it. I'll probably get the... Um, module hit point increase thingy. Whatever it is, the hardening, whatever. Uh, I've got... There you go, improved configuration. I've got those on my super heavies and whatnot to stop the tracks from getting chewed up on the very first shot. I might have to slot one of those in there to uh, increase the uh, ammo racks uh, health. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of these tanks get ammo racked like they're a T-72. Uh, yeah, oh, shots fired at Russia. Um, so yeah, it's, it's an interesting tank. Um... Do I like it? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'm, oh, obviously, I've got it in my account now for, for credit farming. I'm not the same as the Patriot. Um, I bought that with bonds. 
because it's just a good tank to have um, to level up and play and crew and have fun. Um, also, you got to have a KV2, obviously. Duh, comrade. You, you've always got to have a, a, a KV2. Uh, so there's that. And I've now got the pattern the tank. Again, as you can see, no data. Not taking it out yet. Again, got the crew up there because I had some crew books. I might as well spend them. And um, look forward to seeing a review on this tank. Um, but not like most other reviewers do. Um, what I mean by that is most, most people review the tank. I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to also uh, explain to you why I think certain crew skills will help offset the papered and non-papered stats. What I mean by that is when you look over at the tank's um, paper stats here, there's a lot of stuff that's not displayed. And so this is why I'm going to head over to tanks.gg and show them to you and explain to you how you can offset certain things. Um, because I have seen a few of the other bigger YouTubers, Quiggy Baby, um, Quiggy Baby Circumflexus, um, Skills, Chems, you know, I, I've, I've, I've seen a few of them do quick reviews or, or you know, and explain, you know, you know, can the tank do this? Can the tank do that? But I'm going to explain to you from a new player's perspective, who's just because a lot of players have just gotten this tank for free, and wargaming are throwing you in the deep end with stakes tied, raw stakes tied around your neck. And there's going to be a lot of seal clubbers and a lot of players out there that are just going to spam gold at you. You're going to scream. You're going to f. You're going to blind. It, 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 just trust me on this, guys. The review is going to be more tailored towards newbies and how to play with this tank. Okay, guys, so I look forward to that. Uh, I do have this tank on my North American account as well now, so that's good. So I've got an extra tier 9. This is technically my first tier 9. Woohoo. It's free. I ain't going to complain. Uh, it, it'll do its job. It will help me get... Uh, I don't think this gets bonds, does it? No, it doesn't. You'll know if it gets bonds because there'll be a little purple logo next to it. I mean, it might occasionally get bonds from an event, but it won't earn me bonds. So that's that's understandable. Shameful, but understandable. And uh, so, yeah. And uh, the tr uh, in, in all honesty, guys, where I'm going to go with the tank is uh, bonds-wise, vehicle bonds-wise, um, there's no question about it. I am going to either get the... Um, 121B, or I'm going to get the M60. Just because I don't have the M60 on my North American account. Um, and so I figured I, I might as well get some, some what I call server firsts for me. Like owning the Lorraine 40T over tanks like the the T34-3 or the, the Mutz. I have the Mutz. The Mutz is a very good sniper tank. Um, when it's on the equal tier. When it's, in high, when it's down tiered, I, you're at bottom of the barrel. Good luck. It's all I need to say is good luck. Um, same as the Tiger 131. When the Tiger 131 is top tier, nice. When he's bottom tier, yeah, good luck. Uh, but the same could be said of most other things. Same as the uh, Chrysler Chrysler GF. Or the Chrysler Girlfriend, sorry. Just kind of... Same as the Chrysler GF. Um, Chrysler Girlfriend. The Chrysler Girlfriend, as I call it. Um... She has armor to, 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 to see you through some tier 9 tanks. Not all tier 9s, just some. Um, which is why when the tank first came out, she was considered uh, broken and overpowered. Which, you know, can be considered that. But that's neither here nor there. So that's our goal for the year. Uh, by the end of, of 2024, I want to have either the 121B or the M60 uh, on my EU account. On my North American account. I already have the Fosh. Um, let down. Already have the Fosh. Um, honestly, it was a waste of bonds. I should have saved my bonds, and uh, I would definitely have the bonds by now to have the uh, uh, the one two one B. Uh, the one one three. No. Um, it it just does not give me the right vibes that I like the, the, the look of. Uh, but yeah, so that's the goal. Uh, do I want Tiger one three one? Not necessarily. Um, it's just a tiger that you can't upgrade. Why? Just get the tiger and upgrade it. Seriously. So, that's where we're going with the bonds, bond tanks. 
where we're at in the tech trees. Yes, I do have a Jasaw. I, like I said, I got it in a gift box. I got the Jasaw. I will be doing a video on that too. Again, I think of yeah, no games. And yet, like I said, I decided to put my Christmas crew in there. Why the hell not? You know, it's like I, said, I don't even have equipment on it. That should tell you how much of a of, of I unlocked this the day I was supposed to go to catch my train. So I've been away for eight days. So I've not even touched this tank. I've not even touched quite a lot of these tanks. Uh, of course, we're we're pretty high up on the P forty three bis. Uh, if we actually take a look, we're only about twenty grand away. For, yeah, because we've already got uh, the Canaro. Uh, accidentally unlocked the Canaro, the heavy tank by mistake, and it really was by mistake. A lot of people are like yeah yeah yeah. No, I I I really did unlock it by mistake. Um, so there is that. Now I could. Mm, do I want to? use fragments to unlock this one no not when we're so close i will keep the fragments and use it to unlock the uh pantera din, 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 din. i'm not i swear i must be the only one that, that doesn't hear the band pantera in their head when they they say the name i do it's just din, 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 din. i've got the song walk stuck in my head every time <laughs> is that bad is that bad i'm not sure if that's bad or not but um which leads to the standard B, which leads to the Vigero 65. Um, so that's our goal, is to get to tier 10 in the Italian tech tree. Italy! In the Italy tech tree first. Uh, medium tanks, and then we will uh, go down the... Uh, do we want to go down the heavy... Yeah, we'll go down the heavy tank tree line. Um, and then we will go down the tank destroyers last. Uh, so yeah, Italy's going to be the first country I max out. Uh, then... Let's see, what are we going to max out after Italy? Italy. After Italy. Uh, no. 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 Nope. No. Britain? Yeah, I'll get. I'll, I'll probably get the FE4005 on the EU. I've got it on the NA. I love it on the NA. But I'll, I'll get it on the EU. And, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll go that route. We'll go down the tank destroyer route first. And then probably, I do like my Cromwells and Comets. The Comets doesn't get the gun depression like the Cromwell does. The Cromwell can work a ridge line, and it's got much speed and mobility. Use it. Trust. And, uh, yeah, I know. We're quickie, but I'm not quickie, baby. I may be English. He may be English. Not quickie, baby. Sorry. So, yeah. Uh, so I'll probably go down the um, tank destroyer line and then probably want to pull my hair out by the time I get to the Churchills and the Canavan. Can 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 Once I get to the Conqueror and the Super Conch, be happy days. So what I might do is save up my... Um, save up my... Um, actually, I could probably just blueprint my way through them now. Uh, we'll cut. We'll, we'll 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 get to that when we get to that. Anyway, guys, <sighs> happy twenty twenty four. Keep your shows flying. Keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out. See you in the next one.